chapter 10. Again, this is part two. And how, what do we do when we have a long-term construction project and we borrow money during the time of construction when it is part of property, plant, and equipment? Capitalized costs, again, I want to go over this again, includes all costs associated with getting the tangible asset ready for its intended purpose. Interest incurred during construction, there are actually three approaches. The first is you capitalize no interest. The second is you capitalize actual interest with modification. That's what's required under general accepted accounting principles. And the third method is you capitalize all interest during the period, which that in itself doesn't sound correct, but I'm sure somebody's done it somewhere. Okay, what are the rules for the capitalization with modification? First of all, you have the capitalization period. This begins when expenditures are made, not when the loan is made. It's when expenditures are made and interest is being incurred and ends when the project is complete and ready for its intended use. The amount of interest to be capitalized is either the actual interest or the avoidable interest, whichever is less. So now let's look at an example. Here's an example. A company borrowed a million dollars at 12%. And uh, during the next year, they had expenditures relating to this building. And they had some in March for $360,000. So first, we have the million dollar loan that we borrowed specifically for this construction project. Then we had... Uh, Expenditures March 1st, we had them June 1st, we had more on July 1st, and then we had the final on December 1st. And the building was completed in February of 2016. Now, what you also have to look at are were there other loans outstanding during this time period? And in this example, there were. There was a $4 million loan and a $1.6 million loan that had 11 and 10% interest. So what we need to do is determine the amount of interest to be capitalized during 2017. But the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out what were our average expenditures. So we're going to look at a weighted average based on the months outstanding. So for the 360000 it was outstanding for 10 of the 12 months. So the weighted average amount is 300000 and we're going to do that for each one of the other expenditures. So this is what you need to come out with a weighted average expenditure, which is $1.5 million at $1,525,000. And that's the important number we need to go to our next step. So we first figure out how much did we have on our construction loan by itself, and that was $1 million. So the interest on that for the year would have been 120,000. Now we need to look at what additional interest we incurred during the year. And we had the 4 million at 11%, the 1.6 million at 10%. So we incurred total actual interest for the year of 720,000. Now for step three, we have to figure out what is the weighted average interest rate for non-construction loans. So we would take the total interest for the non-construction loans and divide by the 5 million six. So it tells us our average rate other than the 12% was 10.71%. Now here's what we're gonna do with this information. We're gonna try to figure out what was the avoidable interest. So we're gonna take the weighted expenditures, subtract the construction loan, because there we're going to take all that interest up to $1.525 million. And then the difference, we're going to take times that weighted average interest rate of 10.71 times the balance of the weighted expenditures of 525000 And that gives us our, our avoidable interest. Step five, we're going to look at which we're going to capitalize, the total interest or the avoidable interest, whichever is lower. And in this case, it turns out the avoidable interest is lower, so that is what we'll capitalize, 
And now we can do our journal entry. And we're going to do our building is going to get $176,228. The balance is going to go to interest expense. So this is how you do. You determine how much interest to capitalize when you're constructing something, whether it's a building or a piece of equipment and you have to borrow money.